Okay, so for today's workout, you guys, we are doing an EMOM. Um, it's going to be a 12-minute EMOM. 12-minute EMOM, which means it's only three rounds of four movements. You are going to notice, you're going to notice, these are going to are going to be compound movements. There's going to be two movements and one. You're, we're going to be working multiple muscle groups. So a lot of exercises, it's like we do a bicep curl. It's working our biceps. Um, you're going to notice that we're putting things in with it. So today it's going to be kind of a fast paced one, but here's the kicker. If you guys can't keep up, if you guys can't keep up with the compound exercises that I have programmed, pick one out of the two and do that one, do that one. So I'll go over them right now with you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, give me your questions, but if you guys cannot do these together and you're not coordinated enough, I'm going to break it down for you. So you guys can keep up, I promise. But it's going to be an EMOM, which is every minute on the minute. We're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for 12 minutes. So let's work really hard for that 40 seconds. Earn that rest, 20 second rest. Um, but we're going to start with lunge and a curl. So we're going to do both of those at the same time. Then we're going to go into the plank. We're going to go into the plank. Then we're going to go into the squat L raise. I'll show you guys these as well. And then back into the plank. So we're going to do lots of core. You're going to see a lot of core in here. And indirectly, these are working our core too. So we have a lot of core in this workout, but we're also going to be working legs and arms, legs and arms. So it's a full body. It's going to be good. Depending on the weight you guys choose for your workout will depend on how much strength is involved for you. So that's where the strength comes in. So the first movement is going to be the lunge and the curl. So lunge, curl. Don't overthink it. I know we got a lot of overthinkers in here. So lunge and curl. I'm going to grab my 12s. So when I go it down for my lunge, I think you guys are at a weird angle. Let me pull you guys back up. Okay. Sorry. That's easier. Oh, yeah. We are looking forward to it. Okay, lunge curl. So, lunge curl. We're going to do, so I have my dumbbells in my hands just to my sides. We're going to lunge. Remember, a lunge looks like this. It does, you're not walking a line. You're not straight walking a line. It's not a lunge. You're stepping out. You're, you're not stepping way out, but you're stepping kind of to the side. You're going to bend your knee, tap, curl, back down, up. And then lunge, curl, back up. Notice my elbows are staying tight to my sides, even for this. Um, so curls are done. Usually we're standing up. We have soft knees and we do bicep curls like this. We are going to be doing the lunge today with it. So lunge, set, curl, back up. So what that first movement is. If you cannot do both, just do one. If you don't have weights, do just the lunge. If you have dumbbells and you want to do the curls, do the curls. But I want you guys to do both if you can. So the first movement is going to be that lunge curl. We're going to go into that plank. The plank is going to be on our forearms. It's going to be done on our forearms. What's up, April? So our forearms, body's nice and tight. Everything's tight. Quads are tight. Glutes are tight. Core is tight. Shoulders are tight. Everything's tight. Notice I'm not sagging down here. I'm not up here. I'm like a board, nice and tight. Okay, that's called a plank. <coughs> so just work on staying tight. Everything's tight. It's going to get hard, I promise, especially with doing them the second and the fourth movement. The second or the third movement is going to be the squat L raises. So these you're going to want a lighter weight for than probably what you do curls for. But what we're gonna do, so you want your feet in that squat position. You're, they're outside like our shoulders. And a squat is like this. So squats, we sit back, that's a squat. Adding the L raise to it is gonna, we're doing it at the same time. So we're gonna come down, up. So your arms go up while your butt goes down. It's kind of weird. I know it's kind of weird because I see myself in the mirror thing right here. Um, but you're working simultaneously together. 
So at the bottom, check yourself. Are you in an L raise and a squat? Good, come up. So remember, if you can't do both, you guys can just do squats. Nice, proper form. We can just do those L raises. And then we're gonna go back into the plank. It's gonna be kind of hard today. It's 12 minutes because we are doubling down on some movements and we're gonna be working pretty hard. So, so let's do this. And it's gonna, let's do it. Boom. Okay, let's do it, you guys. We're going to set up, I use an app called Wad Timer. It's called Smart Wad or Wad Timer. So it's only 12 minutes, you guys. I want you guys to work really hard. I want you, I want you guys to work pretty hard for this work. Um... Okay, set up. Any questions? Any questions about this workout today? Any questions whatsoever? If not, we're going to get started. We're going to get started. Okay, we're starting in 10 seconds. Seven, six, five. Go, go, you guys. Lunch, girl. Good job. Ten seconds. Oh, this is gonna get spicy. Rest. Rest. Plank. We're gonna do the plank. Plank. Everything's tight, you guys. Remember, pretend like your kid is about to come sit on you, or someone's about to like just keep your body braced like that, um, like you're about to get punched in the stomach or sat on. It helps. Go. And breathe. Big deep breaths. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Woo! Squat L raises. We're gonna squat L raises. Do you guys hear like little meow meow? That's the little kittens. That's the kittens. I heard them when I was laying down there. Okay. Go. My quads hurt so bad. Woo. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Wow. Plank. We're 
We're gonna do our plank. Five seconds. Round four. Go. Way there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awful. Um exercising is awesome. It's wonderful. It is. Don't forget to like this. If you guys can figure out how to thumbs it up, we have zero. I'm going to see. Don't forget, if you guys are just watching, do that. So I think it helps. Lunge curl. Go. I don't remember how we figured it out, but at the end of the last one, we figured it out. I'll try to remember. Come on, you guys. Oh man. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Come on. Rest. Rest. We're gonna go to that plank. Yes, we got three thumbs up. Did you have to go out of it, April? I can't remember. Did you have to go out of it? Whew. Okay, guys, this is brutal. Uh, plank. Round six. Go. Quads are on fire like no other. Come on. Tight, stay tight. Halfway there. Big deep breaths. Come on, you guys. Big inhale. Ten seconds. Big exhale. These static movements are the time to catch our breath. Rest. 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 Okay, you guys. We're gonna go into the squat L raise. This one's hard. This one's very hard. You guys, we have seven thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but static rest, those static movements, try to get your breathing under, under control. Round seven. Go. Squat. All right. Oh, man. Come on. Halfway there. Oh Lord. Ten seconds. Oh. Rest. Rest. Plank. Plank, you guys. We're gonna plank. Um remember, plank, static. Try to control the breathing. Two, go! there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. 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 We're back to the top, you guys. It's only one more full round. Um, 
Does anybody else's quads feel like they're <laughs> on fire? Or up to eight likes. Thank you so much, you guys, for the thumbs ups. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lunge curl. Come on. Round nine. Go. Come on. Halfway there. Come on, keep going. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Plank. We're back to that plank. Back to the plank, you guys. Um, so for the plank, stay tight. Go. Come on. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Oh gosh. Rest. Rest. Oh, um, squat, L raises. Squat, L raises. If you guys did Tuesdays workout, you guys are hating me from your quads right now. Um. Go. You guys plank we're back to plank plank seconds. Well done. Okay. Good job. Good job, you guys. Um, that was awesome. So I lift weights five days a week a long time ago when I was in high school. Because nowadays I go for a lot of walks. Oh yeah, walks are great. Walks are great. I really encourage um, our team to really just change it up. You know, there's no one size fits all. If walking fits your, um, if wa walking fits your lifestyle, and you want to increase intensity on your walks, guess what you guys do? Weight vests. You use ankle weights. You go walk hills. You you change it up like that. You don't have to do anything different. You don't have to go longer. None of that. You just add intensity by increasing the incline of your walk. If you're on a treadmill and you're walking flat, go up to like four or five or six or seven. I promise it adds intensity to any workout we do. So good job, you guys. We did it. 
We're done. We're done. We are done. Thanks for the likes up or the thumbs up. We have 11. If you guys thumbs us up, I seriously appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, I think you have to go out of the chat to do it. I'm going to learn what it does. I forgot to ask my kids, but I know it's good for something. It's got to be. Because I heard all those little all those little YouTubers, theme boppers or whatever, they're like, like, or they say, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's still in the oven. Zach! Oh, uh, what in the world? I thought this was nice work. Nice work, Lisa. Hmm. I think it's done. It's not. Jeez. It takes way longer to cook than I ever expected. Ever. Um. One in, one out. Test it. Testing recipes is not easy. I'm dying too, Constance. That was good. Especially baking. Cooking, you can change it up a lot. If you guys are in my meal prep, did you get it? Did you get it? No. No? If you guys are in my meal prep, you guys have learned. If you guys have macro coaching with me. Um, you guys know cooking, you can be very flexible. Cooking, there's not as many rules fit in, into your macros and stuff, fit it into your numbers. With baking, there's a lot more rules. Baking, it's more of a science than cooking. Um, it's a lot more of a science when you're using, when you're trying to get like a rise or get a certain effect out of something and you're baking. So much more of a science. So that's the tough part. I'm like a rule breaker. Um Thank you so much. Thank you. I did. I pulled one out. I'm really confused how it bakes so long. It's been in there almost a whole hour. I would let it rest for just a little bit. Did you let it rest last time? I didn't realize it needed a rest. Well, when you're cooking with sourdough, you're supposed to let it rest. Are you tired, Brad? Are you, you tired? Rest? We need to get one of those. Valerie said, what's up, Zach? What's up, girl? What's up, Valerie? He's Where's right you? here. Hey. Terry, your Mac is low. Your battery I is had low. it on the charger okay. that whole time. Well, it says it will I sleep have to soon. Blame it on you or outlet. blame it on Wyatt. Um, what's up, everybody? Oh, what's up? I see April. What's up, April? I saw Ryan's pictures yesterday. Oh, he saw Ryan's pictures. Ryan looks good. He goes, that was mm. just one challenge. Mm. <laughs> Ryan looked good, man. He killed, he killed it. He's like, that was just one challenge. She's like, is that the Ryan I met? I'm like, that's the Ryan you met. I hadn't seen it. As I, was, I was like, wait He's a like, second. Ooh, this is delicious. You playing? <laughs> She's not playing. It was for real. It was for real. Zach really had that reaction. It was <laughs> Young real. April. That was a reenactment. Tasha, moment. are you talking about Ryan? You guys talking about her bread? <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> that's so funny. That's funny. April's that like, is funny. You guys are so silly. <laughs> So You're dying to cut into that, aren't you? I just want to know. Just cook. cut into it. Just okay. cut into it. Just do it. Let's just break all I the see rules. The bottom. Yeah. You can't do that. You're flat. No, I'll back <laughs> You can have a piece. Have a sandwich. Have a sourdough sandwich. With a prairie dog on the side. Um. I know. April, we do too. We do too. There's no rules around here with this when to cut into it. One day I pulled out, it was, I don't know what loaf it was. It was, I think it was cinnamon and Colt. It literally wasn't out of the oven for five seconds and Colton wanted a piece. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Should I let it chill? Uh, no, just cut into it. All right. You said it. Yeah, what kind of sandwich are you making? Time to get the bread out of the oven. Oh, <laughs> Michael said, hi, Zach. What's up, Michael? He was the one. He was on our live in Montana. He asked about you earlier. He, oh. he like he connected with you on the live in Montana. No kidding. Remember when you came over and you talked about something 
like, I think you had a serious talk, but maybe you didn't have a serious talk. I was there. Oh yeah. I remember we had all the 12 year olds and that one guy kept talking about like, Oh, you were chilling on the I stairs don't... talking to 12 year olds. I wasn't on the stairs. Hang on guys. Let's sort this out before it sounds weird. <laughs> No, we were in the kitchen in Montana and we were talking. There was a bunch of 12 year olds and nine year olds, but that one weird there on was your YouTube. live YouTube. Right. Not in our house, guys. Not in our no, house. No, this was not in our house. This we was actually in our house with a bunch of 12 year olds and nine year olds. That's what confused me too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about, but remember that one guy you were like, he's like taking over the whole conversation. The weirdo. And I don't remember what he was saying. You were like, he's like this guy. No, not this one. That <laughs> I was would like, be that's a weird. mean thing to say right now. <laughs> no, not this one. Okay. It was that yeah, live though. I know what you're talking about. Zach's only been yeah, on. Yeah, the one dude was uh, kept asking weird questions on the on Then the chat. why were you looking at me like I was, like you didn't know what I was talking about. Because at first I thought you were talking about when we were hanging out with a bunch of 12 and 9 year olds. <laughs> no. And I did not recall that. But What's up, Marriott? But now I'm with you. Okay. That's where you met this guy. Okay. Now What's you up? get it. What's up, dude? We could have just said like, What's up, man? How you been? But she had to go make it like a long story. That's because you would have acted like you didn't know him and you knew him. I don't hang out with 12 year olds, guys. Just my own. <laughs> like 11 year old to 10 year old. The one girl was a soap maker. That's right. She wanted to know how to boost her soap sales. Sponsorship for her and her dad's soap company. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, just go sit out front and sell some soap. We declined that offer. No, we. We did, right? Or did we? No, we did. But, I mean, oh. we didn't decline it. I helped her, but I. Okay, didn't, well, that's like, good. Sponsor her soap company. When you're nine, you just sit out front and you sell soap. You just try harder. You don't need a sponsor to start a business. Venture capitalist. <laughs> right? What did we do when we started this business? Do you remember one of the first things I did? I called my mom and actually had her buy something. You Googled how to make a story. <laughs> I did Google how to make a story. I literally Googled you guys how to make an Instagram story. When I started with First Form, I kid you not, I didn't have a logo. I didn't have a business card. I didn't have anything that was actually business like. I didn't know how to run a business. I Googled yeah. how to. Logo? What? Do you know how to make that logo? Our logo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. I said the other guy formatted. What? I'm just mumbling. Oh, okay. Um, but I. You were there. You didn't know what to do. Lost Our house was a disaster. There was shit everywhere, guys. Yep. And then Tara said, I'm going to start a business. But that I Googled requires us to be clean to and story. professional. And I tried to hide our clothes. I tried spent, to hide our mess. She spent like two or three weeks trying to make it look like we were <laughs> adults. And then she gave up. And, and which was good because we didn't have any ceilings. And I was and like, then I, I ain't cleaning to... up the ceilings yet for you to take a video. I didn't even know what to do, you guys. He needs to show up more often. Thank you. Who knew all you needed was no ceiling? When people ask for business advice, I'm going to say just remove your ceiling. Yeah, remove your ceilings. People will be like, why are you in this? It just generates a lot of engagement. <laughs> we legit. And then I remember I made a thing. I think it looks good. Yep. And I said, how? I said, why we don't actually have a ceiling? And I, it was a video of us pushing coke from the swing. I said, because you can hang the swing up there from like yeah. the rafters or whatever. And people are like, wait, you removed your ceiling so you can hang the swing? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And people believe it. Anything you can give to your old No ceiling and fake plants. I actually didn't realize how many fake plants we had. We went there. We had a lot of fake plants. Like, a lot. How would you not realize that? I didn't fake. know. Every so this store, is like regular. I'm now making regular bread, you guys. Every store Tara goes into that has fake plants, she buys one. Like, we're making, this one I didn't roll tight enough. It has too much of a. Too much, you shouldn't have that much. Because can you imagine eating a sandwich? You could lose a whole piece of cheese. Right can you there. imagine being married to someone who buys a plastic plant every time they see it? I love plastic plants. Tell them about my plastic plant I got the other day from Costco. That's the reason we bought this house. It had a lot of plastic plants in it. No, it, it had all real plants. Well, yeah. That this house had all real got plants. plastic now. <laughs> it has plastic ones now. I love my plastic plants. No convincing me otherwise. <sighs> They really actually make me happy. No ceiling and fake. And Roblox was on the live stream. Roblox. Oh, yeah. All the kids were talking about my kid. Yeah, they all wanted Wyatt's account, Roblox account. I think it's funny. Is Melissa on here? Segura? Um, it was so funny. She wrote on my Instagram story. So on my Instagram story, you can see Wyatt, like, doing his, like, little 
like uh, nunchuck thing. Like, you know, those like, I don't know what the thing is called, but it's like a video game console with nunchucks and you like, you do actions with it. And last time Melissa said, hey, what game is he playing? Melissa must play these games with little kids. I didn't, I'm, this is all something new to me that she does. It's her hobby. But she texted me, you guys. It is the funniest message. And she's like, it's called Gorilla Tag that Wyatt plays. And so she was like, so I tried to play Gorilla Tag. She's like, but it was all little kids, like, hustling each other. She's like, and I felt like a Gorilla Tag. No, she said she felt like a, a Gorilla Tag predator. <laughs> she's like, I was the only adult playing against all these son these kids. She's like, and I felt like a gorilla, a predator. I'm like, oh my gosh. So she got out of the gorilla tag. I've never even heard of gorilla tag. Never heard of it. Wyatt loves it. He loves it. That's literally why my computer's dead. Because he took my charger to charge his nunchucks. He loves that game. Mean kids on there. That's what a lot of people said. There's some mean kids. He only plays with his, like, friend from school. He has a friend from school, and they sit on FaceTime. I kid you not. They sit on the phone on FaceTime, and then they do their nunchucks, and they talk through nunchucks, too. They have, like, two systems that they talk on, him and his buddy from school. True story. That's it. There's mean kids everywhere. And some cats are mean. We have a really mean cat. Two weeks ago and it was a gorilla tag party. Wait, how do you do a gorilla tag party? Does that mean you don't even have to invite your friends? It's just on that nunchuck, it's like, like you just meet them in the game? Or you actually meet them? So that's the birthday we'll have for Wyatt. Hey, invite your friends on virtual reality. It's more. Okay, post-workout time. So Zach just made a sandwich, you guys, with my homemade bread. Are you close to hanging outside? <laughs> He's over there looking for groundhogs. He is he is a hero to our like we have been very like groundhogs have been trying to attack us in our house. So he's protecting us. He said he will defend this farm. He's never felt like such a hero in his life. He's defending us in this house from these groundhogs. I've had better days. He said he's had better tastes. Um, this looks so good. It is good. You haven't had it yet. How do you know it's good? Oh, okay. Here, talk to them for a second. I need to go. I need to go get my charger that I took downstairs. Okay. What's up, y'all? No, she ain't hanging clothes. She's full of crap. <laughs> they're all piled up at the bottom of the dryer in front on the floor in front of the dryer. That's where their clothes are. Um, is gorilla tag a Roblox game? I guess. I don't know. I missed that whole thing. You missed what? Gorilla tag. It's a video game. It's why it's like VR, like VR headset nunchuck game. He has. It sounds like the answer. Yes. What about it? It's a video game. Oh yeah, it's a video game. Yeah, I was. You said talk to people, and I was reading. Michael asked, "Is Gorilla Tag a Roblox game?" And I was like, "Yeah." Oh. I think it is. Oh, I don't know about Roblox. Now you have me confused. I think Roblox is different. Oh. I think Roblox is a whole game of its own. Well, do the way you asked the question confuse me? Is it is Gorilla Tag a Roblox game video game? You use now. a game twice, and that's what threw me off. You use the word game twice. It's not my fault. We actually don't know, Michael. That's a good question. It's a game. In the internet, it's on the web, on the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on the VR. I don't think Roblox is on VR. On VCR. No, no VCR. VCR. <laughs> we actually don't know if it's on VR or Roblox, but we it's on Roblox. Or We've VR. never found the gorilla. <laughs> He typed I, out laugh out loud. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like when I got it. I type it. I type it out too. You don't type out laugh still, out loud. No, I don't. I don't use it. 
but I like to type out my Okay, here's a true story. Clear. When Zach and I first met, Colons and I didn't know if you liked face. me because you would never give me an LOL or a smiley face or like a ha ha or Plain, anything. Hard to get. And I'm like, why is this guy not like writing that? He said that men don't do that. And I'm like, no, men do that. Not this rugged little <laughs> man. He would not give me like anything like, okay, I'll meet you at dinner at six. I'm like, is there a happy face or something? No, I have no emotions. It sucked. That's why uh, I mean. Yeah. I use ha ha ha. No, you, you wouldn't give me a ha 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 back Well, you then. weren't, must not have been very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give me anything. I use the, I use the dap and American flags and explosions. Those are my emojis. Those are the emojis I use. I didn't want that. If I give you a, a dap emoji, an explosion, and an American flag. I didn't want to be a dap. So you know I, I wanted like an LOL. I wanted to know I was funny, and I couldn't get it. Whoa. Oh, that's just something. That's what I thought. Oh, April, we're on the same page. April, we're on the same page, because that's what I was thinking. But then I wasn't confident of it. I wanted an LOL. I did. I literally did. Did you announce the winner of the, the winner last not. night? The no, no, because our kids ended up not going to youth group. Those heathens wanted to stay home and make sushi, and making sushi is like a chore because they sit and look at us till their next roll comes. They sit there and stare. Yeah. So we didn't announce winner for the my Scottsdale trip. Should we do that? I don't know. Can I get my sandwich? Get your sandwich. Okay. <laughs> Get that other out. Holy oh, moly. it's their fault. You want me to yell at them, guys? Mm. Damn it! We forgot to take the bread out of the oven. Stop distracting us. Oh. <laughs> this bread's ruined. I swear, she's never doing a live workout again. <laughs> You're so stupid. What sounds like fun making sushi? Oh, we love making sushi. We do. We I actually feel like last... I do all the work. Uh, no, you don't. Last, well, last night, night you I... last night you did. Oh, thank you. But before that, I'm telling you, I just sit there and roll with a bunch of bird chirping mouths. <laughs> well, we didn't know. Okay, so I'm not that good at rolling it. He's really good at rolling it. So I had to like figure out where my place was. So I was the I'm the line worker. I am the prep worker, and he is the roller. I've been trying to get you to figure out where your place is for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for that line, haven't you? No. Just, you literally couldn't wait. You just speed it up. Softball <laughs> um, He couldn't wait to say that line. Would you like a sandwich? He's going to go eat a sandwich. 